going on dudes and do that so I guess we'll start off with the main story for one of my teams is that Marvin Bagley finally has decided to go into the NBA I think it's kind of obvious because if you're going to be a top five pick most likely him a top three pick depending which teams there are you know you kind of just got to take that shot and see what you could do I mean this guy should be graduating this year from high school I mean I can't believe he's still a whole year younger than what he should be <clears throat> as he's getting to be drafted that high so good luck to him hopefully he has good success and I'll be following him brotherhood of Duke so let's go and he also had a few guys getting traded or signing with teams uh, Cody Kessler I believe he got traded to Jacksonville that's kind of like a weird situation he could come in I honestly think he might be better than Bortles but we'll see how that goes and he also had Sua Cravens being traded from Washington to Denver just tough because I wanted Sue Cravens in the draft when he was coming out and now he's going to play for a team that the Chargers have to play twice so and uh, apparently now he's kind of more into wanting to play football now I know before he was kind of questioning if he was going to retire or not but you know it's a good pickup for them if he's willing to come and play right away so it looks like it's good it's going to be right now plus with Chargers news there was also they're bringing in Geno Smith today. Still haven't heard any word they're going to sign him or not as a backup QB. It's kind of questionable. He didn't really have that much success as the Jets backup or even starter. And even when, to, when he went to the Giants last year, I think he only had one game they actually played in. And it's kind of weird news that the head coach of the Chargers is actually a fan of his because, you know, I mean, he wasn't really that good. So I think that kind of leaves the door open to maybe the coach needs to be on the hot seat because if he's looking at players like that as good players to have on your team then there might be something wrong with him <laughs> we'll see how that works. and some more laker news we had isaiah thomas getting gonna have hip surgery coming up pretty soon and looks like he's gonna be out for the rest of the year which really isn't much it's like like 10 games or less so it's kind of obvious that he would be out if you're getting something done with your hip but you know, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, you know, he gets on a team next year. Pretty sure he will. You know, I, I wouldn't, I would hope the Lakers won't pay, you know, up the up the butt for him. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, I I would only see him playing for us as the, the sixth man or something like that. Nothing as a starter. But thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And have a good rest of your day.